Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. I'd like to explore the theory of scrub rules more and give you an insight as to how I go about breaking the scrub rules myself once I identify them. First step in breaking the scrub rule is to find opponents on quick play that allow you to focus on one thing at a time. So I have spent so long focusing on offense that most people on quick play I don't have to focus how to punish them. So it allows me to really focus on this new style of trying to space moves, play ultra defensive, and not take damage. Finding this type of opponent awards you, the player, more room to play around with seeing the benefits of this style and seeing where it does and does not work. The more you use the style that you're trying to change to, the more you will learn, and if you do so with gradually increasing opponent skill, it's easier to gradually break that scrub rule that you may have. Now, for me personally, with the defensive stuff, this match that you're seeing here is actually from the same day as the previous video's upload date, February 4th. I was still, at this point, purely focusing on defensive options and not getting hit. You'll see, as I further progress this style, not in today's video because we're going to talk about other stuff, that it's allowing me to see deeper into people's defensive options, and since I no longer see defense as a lame thing, it's really removed the last piece of the game that made me get so salty. And as I've said in the past, salt greatly hinders your ability to think and your creativity, so it's wild how much this one scrub rule was really impacting me. Now I don't really want you to focus too much on the gameplay portion of this match because there's a deeper lesson to be learned not from the gameplay itself, but from the prior gameplay transferring over into the next match. When you play extremely patient, if you'll notice, this shulk is now pressing buttons. He is not waiting, he is not patient, and that already led to an early SD. The value comes from how much it wears your opponent out to think, wow, if the DDD plays like this, it's really like he has six stocks, and this is just so much more annoying. This gives you the ability to basically hit whatever clips, whatever moves, and play how you want. Honestly, I don't know what we're looking at here. Remnants of the old style dying. Shoutouts to the on-purpose double roll, something I haven't done since, like, mid-Smash 4. Ho ho ho, yeah, post-credits, I mean during credits voiceover. I don't know why I said post-credits. Anyway, remember, the takeaway here is that playing in this style helps you in more ways than one to win. Not only that first game, but in how much that it wears down your opponent in successive games.